All right, my country, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I call it to your time, Zoom. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have come back to MC Potoski Talk Show here yeah, on YouTube, where you get the latest news and entertainment around the world. If it's your first time on this great platform where we react to all videos that comes our way, please consider to subscribe and Put on your thumb bell, and if you love what we do on this great platform, why don't you give us a thumbs up and also share this video? I appreciate all my subscribers. We got Almighty, we bless you guys. And if you have anything to say about this video, you can also drop your comment at the comment section, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, without wasting more time, guys, let's dive into this video. Good evening, good morning, and good afternoon to some of you. Wherever you're watching from, wherever you might be listening, or you're going to get this message in the future. We want you to send this message to Biafra land, more especially those of our brothers and sisters in Biafra land who used to visit bank on daily basis. It doesn't matter if you are an ESN or an IPUB, because one thing I want our people to understand, we have come to a point that we are not going to be intimidated by anybody. And any way or any how or any means, the enemies or the, their tactics that they want to use or planning to use or are using against us, we must always find a way in order to curtail those things. Because Biafra agitation or Biafra freedom is an ideology. And nobody can, it doesn't matter what they think, it doesn't matter what they do. This very program, it is directed to the banks in Biafra land. And when I mean by Biafra land, I am talking about the so-called Southeast and South-South. First Bank, UBA, Access Bank, Fidelity. F C M B. These banks are the major bank that the Zoo Nigeria military DSS police collaborating with the bank managers or the workers in order to abduct, to kidnap, and to arrest our people. And this message let us also go to the those people that call themselves the Zoo Nigerian media. Because very soon they will say that this is this information. This is the work of BBC. They will say that this is a disinformation. In a sense that now is the time for them to go and do their investigation. These banks, what they do is to target the Afrans account. Once they target the Afrans account. They will freeze your account, send you a message for you to come to verify your account. By doing so, the DSS is there waiting for you. The Nigerian police is there waiting for you. The moment you come, they will abduct you. So let this message get to these Nigerian medias. Let them go begin to do their own investigation. Because by the end of this program, they will understand the statement that is behind this very program. And Biafrans are listening. Any system or any tactics or any strategy that they brought in order to suppress what we are doing, we cannot allow them to use their system to suppress us. It's impossible. It is impossible. The banks in Biafra land 
Biafrans or Igbos, we are the major support patronizing these banks. We have billionaires, we have millionaires in Biafra land. But because that they want to target, specifically target IPOB and ESN, because they see the fundraising that we're making here every month. How can they be able to tell us, after making this contribution or raising this fundraising here in diaspora, how are we going to send that money back home to distribute to the gallant men who are fighting to protect our land? It is through the bank. And they're now waiting for us in that same bank that the moment our people come to withdraw money, is either either you are an ESN or an IPOB member, or you are in a business as strong as that your name is tagged as a Biafra. They will abduct you. They will kill you, and that is why this very program targeted to these very banks, not just the very ones that I just mentioned now, but this is just the ones that already committing this crime. This news is everywhere. Everybody knows about it. And that is why we are giving this warning to all these banks in Biafra land or the so-called Southeast or South-South. What they do, like I said, freeze an account in order to do what? To arrest or to kidnap our people. It is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. Let me bring this to the uh, because I take my time to prepare this very thing that I'm making right now, so that they will not know, they will not say that we are not uh, that we are not serious on what we are doing. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Let me bring you to the screen so that I can read it to their own hearing, so that they can see what we are talking about. They can see what we are talking about. Because when we say that we are fighting for Biafra restoration and the zoo Nigerian government are bringing out different strategy, using those strategy in order to intimidate us, using those strategy to make sure that the coming of Biafra in 2023 does not see the light of the day. That is why we cannot allow them. It is not possible. It is impossible. Now, if you're watching your screen now, you can see this very message. And it goes and says, warning to all banks in Biafra land, or the so-called Southeast and South-South. Unfreeze -South. all the accounts. And when I said, and when we say unfreeze all the accounts, all the Biafran's account, all the accounts that are attached with the Biafra name, in Biafra land, that you frozen all in the name tracking a member of IPOB or Eastern Security Network. You must unfreeze it because we cannot be making fundraising here every month, but to send the money back home become a problem, a look, a look, a look a problem. It is not acceptable. You must unfreeze all these accounts. All of them. All of them. Because we haven't, we got so many reports. How you are abducting our people, kidnapping them, in order to do what? To support what we are doing. It is not acceptable. You don't know who is the IPUB member. You don't know who is the Eastern Security Network. But one thing you should know, that every Biafra, is an indigenous person of the Afra. And because of that name, it covers everybody. You can't know who is who. It is we that know who is who. You also say now, it is we that know who is who. And if you don't want the anger of our people, the anger of these men, this Eastern Security Network, to come and rain down on those banks, because we are going to do everything humanly possible, sacrifice every anything sacrificable to make sure that we send our message to the world that we are not joking. 
we cannot be living in a country where you see that people cannot exercise their freedom of worship people cannot exercise their freedom of rights people cannot exercise their liberty we cannot live in that kind of country that is why we are asking them anything that we are doing to make sure to make sure that we bring about the restoration of Africa do not do not interfere that is why sometime ago i made a program about the man uh, 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 what is his name and uh, 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 um, the alaba international chairman that campaigned for for uh, that forced our people to go and had a, get a pvc in, 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 in lagos state i made that very program i want that man the house to raise down if i've been done i need the video because these are the kind of thing once we make a program like this Personally, I want to see a video that I can be able to give a testimony because it is here that we worship. As all you the Muslim name, they cannot say. It's here we speak, the, we speak the truth. We preach this gospel. We destroy information. You understand now? And this also goes to the banks. And this also goes to the banks. That what you do is to abduct, track our people, kidnap them, both the innocent and the people who are into the struggle. It is not acceptable. It is not acceptable. And if you don't stop allowing yourself or your banks to be used by the Department of the State Service, DSS, against the people of the Afrans, which is your customer, which is your customer, the zoo nigerian government and the anambras and the and the uh, enugu and all the state in biafra they know how much they are losing every monday they know how many billions that they are losing every monday because sister told you know something now they know that's just that's just that's just a part of it that is just a part of it now from tuesday down to friday you can imagine how much they are making. This Monday is a special day for Masin Namdekano. And they know how many billion that they are losing every Monday. Now, from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, you can imagine how much they are making. And where are they putting this money? In these banks. Who are the people making this business to flourish? It's their friends. You're also saying now. It's different. We don't care because we know that there are so many saboteurs. The other day we will have, have information that some saboteurs, some commanders, or the people that were supposed to be fighting in the in the name of the Afra, went to a fellow commander's house, tried to kidnap him, he escaped. All the books, all the list, the names of our people, our gallant men, they took it. Chinas, I want to know what I'm talking about. And from this book, there are banks, there are names, there are ba banks names, there are account numbers, information about people. This is where they have information to know which bank they go and which bank not to go. Quick person to adopt and those the, the ones that they cannot be able to get them, they use their bank in order to track them. So we know there is saboteurs everywhere. So that is why we are making and we are expanding this very fight to make sure that it touches everybody. And with this issue of the with this issue of bank, it is going to make all those billionaires and all those millionaires. Who are shying away from the restoration of Afro or to talk about the Afro restoration for them to speak because it is going to affect them. It is going to affect them if the banks do not stop tracking our people using the account number to track them, hand on over to DSS. It is going to affect them. The Afro is going to come. Whether you like it or not, you must participate in the Afro restoration. And we are now talking about banks. Because, oh, the other man, 
Like I said, if you don't stop allowing yourself or banks to be used by the Department of State Service, DSS, against the people of Afra or against the indigenous people of Afra, which are your customers, know it that you are jeopardizing your business. You are jeopardizing your business in Biafra land. And by this action, the coming of revolution, you are making the coming of revolution to draw quicker before the 2023 general election that we decide and God decide that Biafra is going to be restored. You are going to draw it. If you don't stop, if you don't stop allowing yourself to be used by the DSS, one, your business, you are jeopardizing your business because the Afros are going to come for you. And by so doing, it is going to go around the nation of the Jew Nigerian government. Remember what happened in NSAS. Because when that time comes, police, DSS, nobody is going to save you. I'm telling you honestly. Nobody is going to save you. Because this this bank bank it is one of the major assets that every country or any country can boast of you know what I'm saying now so if you don't allow yourself if you don't stop allowing yourself to be used by these dss or police or whoever that you're using in order to i don't care who is giving you information i don't care how many sabotage we have in biafra land but we are not taking this part direct to you on your doorstep if you don't al stop allowing yourself to be used by these people we are going to come for you i'm telling you honestly because as i'm speaking there are people who are listening to what i'm talking about right now in biafra land and the people whom it's affected so much they are listening or they are going to listen to this very program and it's going to go viral because we are talking about restoration of biafra I know you the the kidnap Come verify yeah. On our basis, I can have bag on your phone. I put it up for. I take it to go in your zone. And I need you to worry. I need you to worry. These banks, they are using this, you know, they are using the taxes to steal from our people. Connect with DSS military police. It has not become a business to them. That what they see. They, we are not. This is not just the IPOB family members or ESN. We are talking about Biafra in general. When they see that you have a, a you have a very reasonable amount of money in your account, they will set you up. They will tag you the, the, the IPOB member. What else? You are not an IPOB family member. They will tag you ESN. How did you get this money? You are sponsoring them. The next thing, I can have. I go go for they will not share the money. This is what they are doing. This is what they are doing. They are using the tactics in order to rob our people. And by the time this very message go viral, those who this have been affected because we are in, 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 in few, few years ago, few years ago, even uh, uh, earlier this year, we have had so many people complain that bank has stolen their money. All the all the, all the money that they work for, bank stole it. And they cannot do anything. So they have now have, have an official means that they can steal your money. They can with, without you doing anything. If you if, if you say them, they will say that you are an IPUB member. You're an ESN. You're sponsoring ESN Security Network. And so God damn what? Don't you know that we are making fundraising? All this money that we are making fundraising here in here in diaspora. How do how are we going to send that money? Because as long as we are gone, we are still in the contraction called Nigeria. We are still one way or the other benefiting from the system. We 
which one of them is the bank. So you cannot choose that your system in order to do what? To, to suppress what we are doing. It is not possible. You are doing your campaign of 2023 for some state that you can be able to do or some part of country that you can be able to do. Nobody is stopping you. And we are fighting for Biafra to come. And you are using your own to disturb us. Allowing your bank to be disturbing us. It is not acceptable. It is not acceptable. It is not acceptable. By doing so, you are jeopardizing your business in Biafra land. And when we are talking about, we are not just talking about the so-called Southeast. Both the Southeast and South-South. Or the so-called Southeast and South-South in the zoo Nigeria. These are the state comprising Biafra land. We cannot allow you to use your system in order to suppress what we are doing. It's not possible. Because self-determination self -determination is not a crime. There are evidence everywhere. So many countries that got in their independence through referendum or by war. We are not the first people. So we cannot allow you. Because every time when they in, it, you know, later on, when I sit down and reason this thing, we are raising money every month. And the only means that we can send this money to our people back home is through the bank. And yet, bank is using the, 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 the uh, taking advantage of what we are doing. So it is now means that we are raising money for the bank, for the Zoom Nigerian government. Allow them to raise. They will even tell Facebook, do not disturb their account. Anytime they don't want to do fundraising, any ad, any platform, any platform that is streaming the fundraising, help them, boost them, boost them. Because we are waiting for them in the zoo Nigeria. Once the money comes, they will seize the money. Kidnap the person, go and kill the person. We cannot allow that to happen. It is not possible. That is why we are warning you to do what? To unfreeze those accounts. Unfreeze those accounts. Under 72 hours, starting from today, the 7th of October, 2022. Because we want to go home. Very soon now, 2023 is around the corner. We want to go home. You want to have your Nigeria. We want to have the Afra. You are in a haste to have your Nigeria. We are in a haste to have our nation. Your money is flowing here and there. Bribing all manner of people that you want to bribe to buy them so that they can be able to be to vote you in your stupid 2023 election and we also we raise our own money you are not depriving us depriving us not to also fund our own in don't allow yourself don't allow yourself to be used by these people to job out your business in Biafra land. 72 hours. 72 hours. If you like, you listen. Open each other. Erapia. I'm going to pull another article. I am going to pull another article. Was reaching, I think, on, on September. That over 50, over 50, 50 Biafras have been, have been, have been abducted in banks. I'm going to pull it out. Like I said, if you don't stop allowing yourself or your banks to be used by the Department of State of Service, DSS, against the people of the Afra, which are your customers, which are your customers, know ye that you are jeopardizing your business in the Afra land. And by this action, coming of revolution in the zoo Nigeria will be far quicker than before 2023 general election. So, so remember answers protest. Why did I put this answer protest? Why did I say remember answer protest? Remember answer protest because when that time comes, DSS will not save you. Only one thing, Yagoko. Army will not save you. Police will not save you. Oh, well, because that time, the anger, in my kind of equator, and they put one around 72 hours on freeze all those accounts on freeze all those accounts and any day we hear any report that is why we're asking people any if you have any issue 
concerning this kidnap or the frozen account. Just bring us the report. Bring us the report. Bring us the evidence. You know what I'm saying now? Let us expose that very bank. I have a preserver. If you want to be afraid of that, I did that. You know what I'm saying now? Have it in mind. By the time people begin to attack your banks across the country, because it is not only the, this is that is why I use a word. Remember, SAS. and banks is banks is the one of the major institution, one of the major institution apart from our crude oil in the Zucos. Young Abu, major institution in the beginning. I can say that the angle ego. CBN we problem. Kita anu Nigeria we na problem. Bank soon we pro Nigeria we na problem. Nigeria na on we na problem. I want to tell you now. Have it in mind. By the time people begin to attack your banks across the country, across the DSS, police and army will not be there to save you. A lot of indigenous people of Afro IPOB have received text messages or call to come to the bank for a verification. And once they get to the bank, they will be arrested by the police and the bank. And immediately, DSS will be invited and pin them and go. Those that refuse to go to the bank, for verification, their account will be blocked, will be frozen entirely, and all their money is gone. So, if they target all these uh, people, all these uh, millionaires, if they target them, and they cannot be able to, you know, they will take the money. Open a chico ogoko, but decide that they now decided that they want to, they want to wicked you. You have no connection with IPOB. You have no connection with TSNO, but they just want to wicked you. Don't matter that these people that refuse to put put anything concerning they, they, want to, they don't want to put anything or put their money in what we are doing. And they don't want to target you. They will steal your money. If you thought they will call DSS for you and say that you're a member of IPUB, that you are sponsoring ESN, they will say bring tax. But all the money that they are stolen. Stashing abroad, nobody is stopping them. All. So this fight, it is not just about the family members, but we, this fight is for every, including those people who are fighting for one Nigeria. Because these very brokers, or so many brokers have been made regarding this very issue of bank. It is good; they are going to benefit it. That is why I keep on saying that once you have something, you need to protect it. What am I trying to say here? What I'm trying to say here is this. We need to be protecting what we have. We, the agitators, we need to be protecting what we have. And anytime I talk about protection, it still takes me back to Alaba International Chairman. A man, or uh, one of the men in the executive, forced our people to go and get a PVC. In the same Alaba International, this man that called himself Ifan Yoba, that is owing his club members in the Navy, he doesn't pay them, owing the salary here and there. But driving a, 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 a bulletproof here and there, driving bulletproof here and there, he went to Alaba International to go to campaign for this same Anambra election that was conducted in 2021. Our people over there used the song of Mass and the Kano to do what? To, to chase him away. Now, come 2022, in the Senate Alaba, a chairman or chairman or the executive connived to force our people, to force our people to go and get a PVC. What are we doing to those people? That's why I say that one is to have what you have and then again to protect what you have. To protect what we have. That is why in this very broadcast, or so many brokers they have heard in so many platforms. If you have any information or they attack you, they kidnap you, there is no way that your family members or one of your family members will not know that you're going to bank. There is no way. As strong as you're a Biafra, 
Bring the news. Give us the evidence. Give us the evidence so that we can be able to make it public. That that bank can't work again. Allah above you. Hey, tell me now, you. Allah above you. Allah above you. Seventy-two hours. Unfreeze all the accounts, all the Biafran's accounts. Unfreeze them. All the people that you have adopted over there, call your DSS dogs to release all of them because they did nothing. If you tag them ESM member, and so what? Are we not raising money here every month? How are we going to send those money? Is it not true, bank? Allah na apogo. Allah na apogo. A complaint came from a a a a complaint came from Apa A complaint came from Cross River State. A complaint came from Ebony State. A complaint came from Anambra State. A complaint came from Enugu State. Regarding this same issue. You also say now. And I said again, remember when NSAS was used, or when, when SAS was used by the Nigerian government, killing innocent people. Today, SARS is nowhere to be found. But remember the NSA protest we were talking about. The Zulu Nigerian government, the DSS, they were nowhere to be found. It is only when people just keep calm. And I don't know about how much even. But you don't know that you are accumulating anger. Accumulation. The anger is accumulating. It's accumulating gradually, 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 gradually. What are you doing? This issue of bank, 72 hours. Call your dogs to release the people that you help them to abduct in your banks. Unfreeze all those accounts. If possible, pay them their compensation for their damages. If possible. But what we are targeting is for you to call your dogs to go and release the people because we have the information. We very soon, we will begin to come out to give, give it to you data by, and call the bank's names where our people have been abducted. Very, very soon. Call your dogs for them to release the people that they abducted in your bank. Unfreeze the account. Those they are unfreeze the, those those you, you freeze the account. Unfreeze the account. So that they can be able to work for school Kabiama. Those who are doing their business, you tag them as CSN and IPOB. They will go and do their business. All of us are the Afrans. All of us are the Afrans. Because if that does not happen, automatically banks in the Afrans is going to be closed. It's going to be shut down. And that is automatic revolution. That is automatic revolution. 72 hours to unblock all the related accounts to the Afrans names. First bank. Assets bank. Fidelity. FCNB. UBA. Please, the Afrans, any information that you have regarding this very issue in the future, that you've been harassed or your family have been harassed, long as you're a Afrans, bring out the case. Bring out the name of the bank. Bring out the name of the bank. Because we cannot be here making sure that our people are contributing money to what we are doing and at the same time the zoo nigerian government are using every system that they can be able to use in order to suppress what we are doing it is not acceptable it is not acceptable we it is not acceptable they know what they are doing they think that we don't know what we are doing mana nkanwa all this is too much. All this is too much. This is too much. It is too much. It is too much. And on this case, if we hear that any Biafran being arrested in any bank in Biafran land, that bank will get it very, very hot from the owners of the land. It doesn't matter. If the person is affiliated with the DOS criminals, as long as the person is a Biafran, we once we have the 
Once we have the information, it doesn't matter if the person is IPOB autopilot. It doesn't matter if the person is non-IPOB family member registrar. It doesn't matter if the person is an ECSM member. As long as the person is a member of IPOB, or as long as the person is an indigenous person being affected by this very maltreatment, their family members should contact us or contact me privately so that we can be able to build that very case against all these banks and the DSS. Plus four nine. One six two two eight eight nine one five one three. I repeat, plus four nine one six two eight eight nine one five one three. Contact us. Let's see we can be able to build that very good and make it for us to expose it more. Seventy two hours. Call your doors to release the people that you have helped them to abduct in your bank. On froze all the accounts, and we don't want to hear any such nonsense again. I actually know, 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 I the names of the state that I just mentioned include Akwaibon, Enugu, Ebony, and the rest. These are the banks. These are the banks on the, on the on the table right now. These are the banks on the table right now. But I name I name Gosi. I want to know now. I name I name Gosi for And I also want to show you. I want to show you a, 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 a report. A report concerning this very issue of bank that was uh, written on September was written on September by one of the Afrans. And for you to see that this is not even started today. I'll break it down like you have to I'll break it down like To tell you honestly, I'll break it down like you have to Let me show you. I'm going to see you again. I'll break it down like you have to I'll break it down like you Watch and see. This is Operator Kobidolo. I hope we can see it very broadly. You can see this very date. I don't know if it was this very date that this, this uh, uh, article, this article was written, which was on the 25th of September, 2022, at about 18 minutes past 9 p.m. He said, important information. I hope our people can see it very clear. Important information. Biafrans. Not less than 50 IPOB members has been abducted inside banks between January and September 2022. You see? This was written on September. You can see the date here. Between January and September, it is even more. These are the ones that the, the, the account can be given. There are more. If you do more investigation, you're going to see. When they massacre our people in OB, the first information I got was about uh, uh, 3004. But it is even more. Because the official report that uh, uh, Bruce Fame brought out, it's about 3,800 and something. So when you check this very figure now, if you check this, very, this is what we have at hand. Our people are missing every day. Our people are missing every day. Every day our people are missing. This one is the one that related with banks. So that is why, that is why we are going to lay this anger. You see this this anger, this accumulated anger. We are going to lay it in, the, in these bags. Then you will see what is going to happen in the town, in the whole zoo Nigeria, the whole banks. 
ever since IPOB was created by Oyendumaz and the Kanu, the IPOB family members, and the ESN, we have been doing our thing within the confines of the law. That is why outside Nigeria, you can't see any police to harass us whenever we go to protest. Rather, they are even protecting us. Rather, they are even protecting us. The kind of security that they use to protect us anytime we are going to protest here in diaspora. To compare Zoom Nigerian government. So that is why to tell you that anything that we IPOB or Eastern Security Network, everything is within the comfort of the law. Before Eastern Security Network was created, there was an expose that the Olyan Dumas and the Canon made concerning a law, a particular law, tort law. He made that exposition. After that exposition, ESN was integrated. Anything that we are doing in this movement is within the confines of the law. Outside Nigeria, nobody is tagging us as a terrorist. Nobody is killing us. Because anything that we, we do it within the comfort of the law. And here this report says, that not less than 50 IPOB members have been abducted inside banks between January and September. January to September. That's what I'm trying to say here. January to September 2022. 50. Banks are now the easiest tools used by the lawless Nigerian secret police. DSS to abduct IPOB members. IPOB media personnel and our men on ground. This very message here, uh, this man put here, don't know who wrote this, say wanted. There is nothing like wanted. There is nothing like IPOB to abduct. Yeah, this, this is very wrong. This is very wrong. To adopt wanted IPUB members. Everybody is wanted by the Zoo Nigerian government because they proclaim themselves as a terrorist. But outside Nigeria, they didn't see us. Everything that we do, we do it within the comfort of the law. That is why the Zoo Nigerian government cannot even opt it today. Persecute even one single Biafra. They cannot, since the time of Wazurike, since the time of Wazurike, they cannot even persecute, even one, send one single Biafra, persecute him in the court of law and imprison that person. They have never succeeded, even one. So using the wanted IPOB, wanted, that is a wrong one, but we understand what it's what you're trying to say. First Bank, you see, First Bank, UBA, Fidelity, and other banks. Do you see what I'm saying now? The information personally, myself, as I came and watching First Bank was among. You know what I'm saying now? UBA was among. Fidelity was also among. These banks. The information personally, myself, I got these three banks was among, and in that very article is also there. You're also saying now, couple with FCMB and Access Bank one, two, three, four, five. These banks are the people. These are the these are the ones on our on the on the red card right now. So I'm talking to you. Then 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 on na 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 how na na call John now. How na na call John. Let me repeat again. He said banks, first banks, UBA, Fidelity, and other banks are now working hand in hand 
with the Nigerian security operative to abduct innocent IPOB members across the zoo Nigeria. This is their tactics. They will block your account and send you a message to come and verify the issues with your account. You will not be allowed to withdraw from your ATM, POS, or even make any online transaction with your account. When you get to the bank to receive, to rectify the problem, they will quickly contact the Nigerian security operative, which is DSS, and they will come and pick you up from the bank. So, if you go more analysis on this very, uh, 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 this very line that we just read now, you will see that it is not just only IPOB family members. As long as you are a Biafra and you are doing business in Biafra land, who are the people paying respect to Mazen and the Kano every Monday? Are they not Biafrans? Are all of them family members? Of course not. So, this is what concerns everybody in Biafra land. This is what concerns everybody in Biafra land. When they see you, somebody just give out your name and say that you are a hardcore IPOB. That's all. That's all. They will use the bank. Which bank are you banking? Once they go, they will freeze your account. They will steal all your money. Now, he says solution. He says solution. IPOB principal officers, media personnel, and men on the ground must disassociate themselves from anything that will take them into bank. But you know, that, that does not solve the problem. It does not solve the problem. Which, of course, this was written on the September. But now we are in the month of October. Last month, this was written. Now we are in the month of October and uh, October. You're also saying now the game has changed. There are so many saboteurs. Somebody, one of the people that is loyal to China Shamuru can tip their their agent and say this is a principal officer. He's going to the bank. Or this is his account. Or just like the, the, the information I just brought out brought out when we started this program. They went and to capture one of the gallant men in Biafra land. He escaped inside his house. They take the record book. In this record book, the names of Eastern Security and Net, uh, uh, Eastern Security Network members, our gallant men, they are there. Phone numbers is there. Account is there. So this has gone way beyond, and it is now getting to a point that these saboteurs are no more relevant to them. It is now getting to a point. The Nigerian government and the Nigerian DSS and police, it is getting to a point that will begin to, by themselves begin to eliminate all the saboteurs in our midst. Because we are taking the fight to the doorstep of the people been allowed themselves to be used. So, very, very soon, gradually, 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 you will see that these saboteurs, they are no more relevant because the anger is accumulating. You won your banner. On a foul bagota. On a foul bagota. And I charge the battery. And I charge the battery. And I charge the battery. But you don't know when I get on an 80 bar. Over the 20 bar and 20 bar, no, up on November, December, January, till we are out in February, I gave me that stupid election. Over the only 20 bar, a battle on your bona ju, battle on your bona kitan one on a on an 80 bar. Ya be way, you won your bona kitan one on an 80 bar. Oh, when they can fast say who to go lay you, but I had a check and can do so call you. Oh, when you won't keep a jugo lay you kitan. I'm not telling you now. 
At the go battery us now charge kwa. Ka hang we extra. And na station day for that no one battery ka hang we. Bona ke pa bo ete eti ba. Koju. But can you warn your opponent making it on our accumulate? On our accumulate. So very soon, these saboteurs, they will no more be relevant to these politicians. Very, very soon. You see, this DOS is more powerful or more powerless. All of them, Chike, those same, all of them that put hands together to sabotage what we are doing. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. You know what I'm saying now? They will not be relevant anymore. And you can see it begin to happen already. They are no more relevant to, they are no more relevant. That is why you can see Soludo come out the other day and say that the IPOB uh, uh, DOA is working with them. The next thing, they release a, I'm going to make a special program about that. The next thing, they release a, 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 a video that is a, a, a Southern ESN. What are the people that they are talking about come somewhere in our They are they come somewhere in they come they come somewhere in 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 our Why they say is a southern? Why they come they come they come somewhere in the so-called southeast? How can Eastern Security Network are meant for the for the uh, so-called uh, southern Eastern Security to be camping in the so-called south, uh, southeast? It doesn't make sense. We expose them. Another video came out and exposed them the more. That is for that is that is the reason why, or that is for you to see that they are no more relevant. And he said there that they are waiting, they are waiting for what the DOS will do or what they cannot be able to do. So they don't have power again. Because we are taking to the war, we are taking the war direct to the doorstep of the people who are affecting us. Now we are talking about banks. Before we say, uh, uh, okay, okay, uh, give out account, uh, bank account, or they set him up. Uh, they will do, they will do this uh, sabotage. They will do their sabotage. Go and kill a fellow gallant man, and they will say is a is a ESN. I mean, uh, it's Nigerian zoo. There was, it's a Nigerian zoo. They might even tell you that uh, 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 maybe he went out, just like Obasi. Just like Obasi. Uh, he, he went out. Oh, 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 this is how they went, this, this is how they are kidnapping our people. They will not say, yeah, is the zoo Nigeria. When you, if you shout, all uh, oh, hey, Biafra, they will shout more than you. Double agent. They will shout more than you if you say, "Oh, their voice, eh? Their voice will even more sweeter than your own." If you say that Biafra will come twenty twenty, they will say, "He say." They will shout more than you. But they are the people. Suffer. That is why we are not taking the war direct to the doorstep of an enemy. So as we, the more we are doing that, the more we are weakening their. They are, we are weakening their strength, the strength of the people, the saboteurs. And very, very soon, very, very soon, you are going to be hearing how they will be eliminating them one by one. I told them some time ago, about two or three or four months ago, and I use Sapele as an example. It is better for you right now to do what all those money that I collected from those politicians. Make an agreement with them, you, Chinas, and World Mother Bull, that the coming of the Afra is going to be 10 years. Coming of the Afra. I say, use those money that they pay you, turn and begin to fight this politics because very, very soon they will not trust you again. Is it not happening? 
when they inaugurated their, their so-called Southern South, South ESM, did you see them give them any gun? We made a program here and we show you our gallant men, each and every one of them have their guns with them. You know what I'm saying now? Because they trust each other. What this one is fighting is what this one is fighting. Each and every one of us are fighting a just cause. But those politicians, because they want to be there to make sure that they foresee the inauguration of whatever they are inaugurating to suppress what we are doing, they will never give you a gun. They will give you a stick. Even that stick, they themselves are going to give you to because they won't even trust you to ask you to bring a stick. You might put AK-47 in your stick and you need to come and kill them. But they give you gun after the inauguration. But during the inauguration, they will never give you gun to display. That is something that they did in the uh, uh, inauguration of uh, Ibubago in a Bonnie state. After that, Chiam, whatever you do, go and kill your brother. Go and kill your brother. We are not taking fights to, to their doorstep. We are not taking that. That is why 72 hours for Biafra to tell their cohorts, the DSS, the people that they connect with DSS to abduct, to arrest our people in their banks, release them under 74 hours, uh, 72 hours. Release them. Release them under 72 hours. He will say, eh, eh, very soon now, 72 hours, is it not three days? Is it not three days? I'm going to go to Gawa. And also, you people that call yourself, uh, 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 you call yourself uh, 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 Nigerian Zoom Media, go and begin to do your investigation. In these banks that we just mentioned right now, go and begin to do your investigation. Get me work investigation. Get what you better say. Get the list of disinformation. Because this is what the BBC is very good at. They will say disinformation. Channel television will say disinformation. Go and make your research and find out how many Biafrans have been abducted or kidnapped in banks. How many Biafrans accounts have been frozen by this parasite? Go begin to do your investigation 72 hours 72 hours on freeze them Iyanu wa kamuna chimu kwetalo Iyanu wa kamuna 72 hours release them on freeze the account so that your business can be flourishing so do not jeopardize your business do not allow the zoo nigerian government to use you do not do not Allow the Zoo Nigerian government to jeopardize your business. Do not. Do not. Now, let us continue. Let us continue. Yes, sir. Yes. This is a solution. But we have gone past this very solution because we cannot be afraid for any. I cannot to live. Onye kai na atwebo, onye kai na atwebo, ibudo onye, onye kai, ana atugebu ibudo onye, ana atugebu ibudo onye. Thank you for watching that video. We appreciate, and this is where I'm believing you guys. But if this is your first time on this great channel, please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel you will be the first person to see the video so guys see you guys some other time